crucified flesh. Galatians 5 verse 24 And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Paul in Galatians chapter 5 verses 16 to 26 is teaching us about living the spirit-filled life of walking in the spirit, of being led by the spirit. He has in instructed us that when we live in this, when we walk or when we are led by the spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. When we are led by the spirit, we don't need the law. He has drawn a contrast of uh, 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 the works of the flesh versus the fruit of the spirit or what becomes evident in the life of somebody who is living yielded to the Holy Spirit. And as part of this whole passage and t teaching us about the, the, uh, the, the spirit-filled life, a life that is in the spirit, he says this in verse 24, that those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. This is both the, uh, the way to live in the spirit and it's also the outcome of living in the spirit. As we saw in verse 16, Paul said, Walk in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That means I live, yielded, submitted, and under the influence of the Holy Spirit, I will not give in to the ungodly desires. But in the process, there's something else that's happening. These ungodly passions and desires come to be crucified. So he says, those who are Christ have crucified. That means they have put to death. They have nailed to death crucifixion. They have nailed to death the, the passions, the flesh with its passions and desires. So we, we live that way. We live with our flesh crucified. Now the fact is this, that if given an opportunity, the flesh will raise up its ugly head. It will be resurrected, so to speak. It'll come back alive if given the opportunity. That's why in Romans, Paul says, you know, make no provision for the flesh. Give the flesh no opportunity. So the way to do that is to live in a state where your flesh is continually crucified with its passions and desires. The wrong things of the flesh, we continually keep them crucified. Because this, and this is part of living in the spirit this is part of walking in the spirit as we walk in the spirit live a life living a life that is yielded submitted and under the influence of the holy spirit we continually keep our flesh crucified with its passions and desires that means we say no to these things these are in a state of being dead that is uh, important part of living the spirit for life of walking in the spirit so i want to encourage you and me let us by the help of the holy spirit keep our flesh crucified or as some people would say it keep your flesh under or put your flesh to death crucify the flesh with its passions and desires the holy spirit empowers us to do that Romans 8, 13, Paul says, you by the Spirit crucify the deeds of your body, you will live. Let's pray. Spirit of God, we thank you that we, as we walk yielded to you, submitted and under your influence, Holy Spirit, you help us crucify the flesh with its passions and desires and to keep them that way constantly. Thank you for your empowering in our lives. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.